Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning how to identify seven common species of oak tree by their twig. I hope that you find this video educational and useful. When first looking for an oak tree, we'll want to keep in mind that there are two major groups of oaks. The first group is white oaks and then there are red oaks. The bark of white oaks is more rigid and furrowed, so it isn't very smooth. Now, white oaks typically have grayish or whitish tints to them, whereas the bark of red oaks are usually a lot smoother and darker than that of white oaks. Also, red oaks might have a reddish tint between the ridges in their bark. All right, here we have our first twig, which is that of a white oak, otherwise known as Quercus alba. White oak is a very slow growing, long lived tree and can actually live to be about 500 to 600 years old. Now all oaks are going to have an alternate bud arrangement in a cluster of apical buds, which sort of reminds me of some sort of medieval weapon. But if you flip an oak's twig over and look at the pith, it forms a star shape. However, white oak's twig in particular is shiny reddish brown with hints of gray and can even be slightly purple. Now its apical buds are small, rounded, and hairless. Okay, here is our second twig from the white oak family, which is bur oak or Quercus macrocarpa. Bur oaks can withstand a wide variety of soil conditions and typically live in a habitat called an oak savanna. Additionally, their root systems grow really big, really fast. Now this twig is more stout and mostly brown, but it can have hints of yellow or gray. The buds are small and roundish with slight pubescence, which can be hard to see, so you've really got to get close. Also, this twig sometimes has thread-like stipules that surround its apical buds, and here is one that is super small. Alrighty, here is the third twig from the white oak group, which is the chinkapin oak, otherwise known as Quercus muhlenbergi. Chinkapin oak prefers alkaline soil and can typically be found on ridge tops, dry buffs, and rocky slopes. Now, this twig is sort of middle of the road as twigs go, not too slim and not too stout. The stem is usually an orangish brown color with the apical buds being chestnut brown with frosted edges and about an eighth of an inch long. Okay, here is our last twig of the white oak group, which is swamp white oak or Quercus bicolor. Swamp white oaks are generally tolerant of flooding, drought, and heat, but they don't do very well under salt stress or in polluted areas. The stem of the twig can be light brown to gray with terminal buds being brown to light brown. The apical buds are short, round, and have those thread-like stipules present. Here is another small one. Alrighty, here is the first member of the red oak group, which is also the namesake of the red oak group. This is the northern red oak, or Quercus rubra. Northern red oak is another long-lived tree and can typically live to be about 200 to 400 years old. Now this twig is a stouter one that is reddish brown and glabrous. The terminal buds of a northern red oak twig are reddish brown, relatively large, and they are generally hairless. However, on certain occasions, the apical buds may have a slightly frosty pubescence to them. Okay, here is our next member of the red oak group, which is shingle oak, otherwise known as Quercus imbricaria. Now, shingle oaks are a very nice shade tree that are commonly used in parks, and from my experience, these twigs can range from orange to brown to grayish in color. Now, their apical buds are reddish brown and pointed. Alrighty, here is our last twig of the red oak group and the last twig of this video. This twig belongs to pin oak or Quercus palustris. Pin oak is a fast growing oak tree that tolerates lots of soil moisture and acidic conditions. Now, the stem of this twig can be brownish gray and even have hints of red on it. The apical buds are chestnut brown, small, and pointed. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed learning about how to identify oak trees by their twigs. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.